The balloon and skewer. So here we have a regular balloon and we have a skewer. Now you've just talked about the scientific method. You want to observe, you want to make hypothesis, you want to ask questions, uh, you want to make predictions. And so you've gone over all the different parts of the scientific method. So now what you're going to do is you're going to have them observe. I have a balloon and I have a pointy stick. So you take the balloon. Don't blow it up too much. Right about there is pretty good because you want to think about the width of the skewer because you're going to stick the skewer through here. So you don't want it any bigger than that. So now you take your balloon. So this is usually how I start. I say, okay, you guys learned about the scientific method. Now observe. And that's all I do. I have a blown up balloon and I have a skewer. And then the campers will usually go, ha, ah! and cover their ears. And you say, wait a minute, why are you covering your ears? And they say, you're going to pop the balloon. You say, did I pop the balloon? No. What you did, you made an observation. You asked the question, what is he going to do with a balloon and a skewer? And then your brain came up with a hypothesis that I'm going to pop the balloon. That happened in milliseconds. Your brain saw it, went, what is it? And then went, ah, he's going to pop it. That is science. So you guys are naturally scientists. And this shows it. You already make hypotheses all day long. Everything you see, you have to hypothesize what's behind the door. What are you going to have for breakfast? All those things. Because you assume or you make a question on what do we have for breakfast? And you go from there. So here we go. So now you said, I'm going to pop the balloon. Does everyone agree with that? I'm going to pop the balloon. Okay. How many of you don't agree with that? So some of you say you don't agree. What do you think is going to happen? I'm not going to pop the balloon. I'm going to put the skewer all the way through. These are all great hypotheses. Now we're going to make an observe observation while we do the experiment. Everyone say, experiment! Experiment! So we take our experiment. So now this is the experiment. Balloon skewer. Now we can make the prediction. You say, it's going to pop. That's your hypothesis. So if I put the skewer in the balloon, then it's going to pop. So the if-then statements turns into something I can actually do. If I stick the skewer in, then it's going to pop. Now we try it. So now, very important, I take the tied portion of the balloon and I stick it under my arm. Make sure you don't poke yourself or get it near yourself over here. You take it and stick it in the very thick part of the latex of the balloon, and it slides in. And they say, <laughs> oh, it didn't pop. And then you say, okay, what if I go through the top of the balloon? And a lot of people are still holding their ears, making the hypothesis that it's going to pop. And so you stick it through the thick part. You don't put your finger on the pointy tip. You pinch the skewer and then push it through when it comes right through like that, and now it's a balloon kebab. Awesome. <laughs> a balloon kebab. Okay, so here, so the balloon kebab didn't pop. Now we have a whole other experiment. So some of your hypothesis was correct, some of it was incorrect. We can say the evidence supported that it didn't pop. So that experiment is over. We can see that it didn't pop. Now campers will be like, wait a minute, you didn't do what I thought you were going to do. You didn't go from the side. Now that was an assumption. One thing we want to do is not make too many assumptions. We want to know exactly what's going on. So they say, well, if you put it through the side, then it'll pop. You say, oh, is that true? So you take the skewer out, and then you go through the side. <laughs> <laughs> now they're absolutely right. And you can do a couple of different experiments uh, using balloon and skewer where you try and go through the side. Some say if you go faster, it'll pop. Some say if you go slower, it'll pop. Some say if you pull it out, it'll pop. So these are all different experiments you can do with balloon and skewer. Of course, be very, very safe with a pointy stick. Now. Balloon and Skewer is one of those activities you're going to do at the expo on Friday, on your chemistry show on Friday when you invite the parents. So you allow a student or a couple students to come up and just play with balloons, give them a bunch of balloons, don't worry if they go through like 10 or 12 of them, and let them try the experiment themselves. They might like it so much that they want to do that presentation on Friday. So there it is. It's basically going through the scientific method and how they naturally are scientists. Balloon and Skewer.